Leslie. Welcome to my little travel show. I call it Small Places. About 60 miles south of Cleveland is an area called Holmes County. And it happens to have the largest population of Amish people in the world. <laughs> about 20,000 Amish people live here, which is about half the population. And their lifestyle is very simple. It, it harkens back to uh, before they immigrated here from Germany and Switzerland in the 1600s. So I thought you might want to take a little ride in Amish country with me. I've been visiting Ohio Amish country for most of my life. It's like my rural fix. Every so often I need to step away from laptops and laundry and escape to another world. One filled with buggies and barns, rolling hills, postcard farms, and animal-filled pastures. Historic Millersburg is the county seat of Holmes County, a small, well-preserved town of antique shops, an old hotel, and a mix of Amish and Englishers. That's what they call outsiders. Berlin, a short drive away, is the tourist center of Amish country with more than 60 shops offering traditional Amish crafts, handmade quilts, baskets, wooden furniture, jams, and bakery. I really don't stop there very often. I will stop at one of the many cheese factories in the area and pick up some of their buttery German and Swiss inspired cheeses. Yes, I would like a wheel of baby Swiss, of okay. which you're so famous for. Okay. Um, and can you quarter it for me? Yes. Okay. No problem. Have you want to taste it? Absolutely, I want to taste. All right. There you go. Thank you. Mm. So moist. Very pretty. So soft. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I have six more meals, please. Okay. <laughs> but what I really love about Amish country is finding the narrowest, least used dirt roads in the area and just soaking in all the bucolic scenery and admiring, but not necessarily envying, the Amish way of life. Known as plain people, they live without electricity or cars and most modern conveniences. Don't ever ask one to pose for a picture. They believe it is an unacceptable act of pride. We made a point of being very discreet in our filming. Their dress reflects their humble ways, too. Women wear conservative, homemade dresses, mostly polyester, for easy hand-washing care, always in solid colors. They never cut their hair and wear it mostly in tight buns. Men shave until they are married, and then they never cut their beards. No mustaches are allowed, nor sweaters, neckties, belts, even zippers in their pants. Denim is very big. Many of the Amish live and work on farms, and it's a beautiful sight to see them working the fields with their majestic draft horses.
One can spend an entire day doing nothing more than photographing barns. You'll see small, one-room country schools where the kids go until 8th grade studying basic reading, writing, and arithmetic. There are so many families with the last names of Yoder and Miller, I can't help but admire the mailmen of Holmes County. How do they do it? I know this might sound kind of basic, but this city slicker loves to see all the farm animals. And yes, I like to talk to the cows. And I think they all look like they're chewing a big wad of bubble gum. But the horses, they're my favorites. Especially the babies. To fill the senses with fresh country air mingled with the earthly scent of hay and manure, to step away from city life as you know it, to spend a day or two among the Amish, it's just good for the soul. I always let out a big sigh when we go home and the bright lights come into view.